Hello and welcome back to our X4 Foundations. Let's play poorly. We are going through the timelines. Uh, so, okay. Uh, this is our, apparently our apartment. I really like the vibe of the way Timelines is playing out. I mean, I've only done 30 minutes of it, but I just like it. I, I don't know. Uh, it's different. It, it reminds me... Not really. I mean, I guess I could say it reminds me of X Rebirth in the focus on the first person-iness of it. Um, which Foundations on its own doesn't really do, really. I mean, yes, you're a first person player, but the goal always is to be, you know, massive very quickly. So anyway, uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. I am lost. I have lost track of uh, what I was doing. I, I'm, have I been here before? I remember the tree. What are you doing? You go into the bathroom? What is that? You are you having a pee? Oh no, that's a okay. All right, we're going this way. We, I guess we're going up here. Oh yeah, look at that place. It's great. Oh, this is not, not so great. Just the darkness. Apparently, geometry isn't Euclidean here. Strange as it may seem. Okay. All right, I think maybe we try the the same thing again. We try, uh, yeah, you know, because I didn't do so well last time. I, I could continue on, but I, eh, well, I want to give it a go again. All right, Incursion of the False Pontifex. I did a high score of 263. I'd need to score 500 for the next rating. All right, let's give it a go. Okay. Hostile detected. Pegasus. Vanguard. Oh, oh, see now? Ah, man, I thought I was just rusty. Turns out I'm just bad. Getting through my shields. Texture pop ins when you when they get onto the scope. Perseus, Pegasus, Vanguard. Perseus, Vanguard. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Keep boosting. Perseus, Thank you. 
Oh, I almost had it. All right, here we go. I gotta let that, I gotta let my shields charge back up. These guys are chunkier. They're slower to slower movers. I forgot about my secondary weapon. Gorgon. Eating is causing a problem. in the face. Come on, 
Come on, come on. Doesn't even count. Got 90 seconds left. Hopefully this time I won't die first. Nope, I might. Yep. There we go. Let's get out of here. Get this last guy. Come on. Got it. All right. Oh boy. Come on. 47 seconds. Come on. All right. Scoot, scoot. Gorgon, Vanguard. I will not be able to make any more points, I don't think. Maybe. Ah, missed it. Ah, missed it again. Okay, managed it. I'm not gonna hit my next threshold though in two seconds. There we go. Oh, but look at that, I did 467. Woo wee. All right, 62% accuracy. I mean, I'm a terrible gunner. Destroyed three scouts, five fighters, five frigates. Not bad. Okay, well, let's return to the Nexus here. I'm them, and then I'm me. Uncanny. Yeah, that's existential. Okay, uh, so we got that one. Now let's take a look at this guy here. Navigate through marked checkpoints to complete the course. Utilize boost to gain an advantage. A mission rating of one will permanently affect the universe. Special ownerless ship in sector CEO's doubt. What does this one do? Nothing. Right? Doesn't do anything? Yeah, just is. Okay. Continuous workloads under the stressful conditions of outer space can exert considerable psychological stress on individual sentience to mitigate this and enhance mental well-being. Being. Fostering intersentient relationships through recreational activities is essential. One such activity is the popular Asteroid Dash, a competitive yet friendly space race through a challenging course of asteroids with powered vessels. Observation of non-pivotal sentience participating in such non-threatening scenarios provides invaluable insights into evolving space-time dynamics and is highly encouraged. The embodied sentient is eager to engage in this leisure activity by completing the race and retrieving the trophy. It aims to establish its competitive rank among its co-sentients, reinforcing social bonds and demonstrating its prowess in a friendly yet challenging environment. Good job, mission director. Okay. Let's do it. for another adrenaline-fueled race in this year's Nebula Open Cup. I'm Today's very bad at these. Is proudly brought to you by Swamp Fizz, the refreshing burst of energy to get you through your day. And would you look at that? It's shaping up to be a stellar day for racing. The racers are geared up and ready to unleash their ships along this high-speed course. Today we have a new racer, ready to take on the established giants here.
Oh, okay. I'm gonna have... I have high recharge um, shields, so I can... Oh, shit! Nope, not gonna make it! Oh! No! All right. Nope, nope. Can we restart this? How do we do this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Yeah, so uh, I, I got distracted by a text message from work, so... Yeah. Turn off your phones when you're about to start a race. for another adrenaline-fueled race in this year's Nebula Open Cup. Today's thrilling event is proudly brought to you by Swamp Fizz, the refreshing burst of energy to get you through your day. And would you look at that? It's shaping up to be a stellar day for racing. The racers are geared up and ready to unleash their ships along this high-speed course. Today, we have a new racer ready to take on the established giants here. All right, let's do this. There's a there's a corner coming up, right? Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna have to spin and boost, right? Yes. There we go. Oh come on, no 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 no! Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up! Okay, that was almost elegant. This course was first set up by young Talati, racing their modified transports. Uh, which way do I go? Long way oh, it's come. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! No! Oh, damn! I almost had it. There we go. That was lap one, huh? These, uh... The HUD is, uh, being very flickery and weird, but all right. I can still read it. Oh, as come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. around the station, make sure you give them away. Oh, I feel like I'm losing the thread here. It reminds me, but also completely doesn't remind me of this old PS2 game I used to play. PS2? PS1 game I used to play as a kid. Well, not that much of a kid. I think I was in my 20s. Uh, called Jet Moto 2. One of my favorite PS1 games of all time. It was so janky and hard to play, at least for me. But I freaking loved it. Now, there is a Jet Moto 3. But fair warning, it's trash. If you want to play the peak of Jet Moto, it's got to be Jet Moto 2. All right. How about we don't mess this one up? Get in here. Yes. Okay. I'm still in position. How am I pulling this off? I am not good at this. Typically.
I guess this would also kind of probably make people think of the games like Wipeout and stuff, but I never really played Wipeout. I was all about Jet Moto 2, which was a, uh, like a jet ski kind of game. There you know, post-apocalyptic world back. almost. Because yes, there's this one, um, there's one map that's basically taking place in a post, uh, um, earthquake environment. At least that's what it seemed like to me. Oh, jeez, I should stop talking. I need to stop talking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I am super impressed with myself right now. He says as he's about to fuck it up. Uh, no, you made it. Okay, here's it. Here it is. Last one. Last one. Last one. Ha ha! A true underdog story if I ever saw one. Heck yeah! Look at that. High score, 30k. Score required for next rating. Uh, 31. Oh, all right. Well, I guess that means I got to go faster or something, right? Um, best lap time. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's over here. Um, I could go. F I could do a better lap, and I could, I guess, be faster overall. Well, I mean, yeah, that's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. blur of colors and I'm back in my own shoes all right get level three on that level four on that um what's this one look like oh now there's a uh, ownership ship and sector CEO's doubt which is nice I'm assuming that's only for new games but uh coordinate with your wingmen to escort the transport vessels and secure support ship I'm gonna do I want to do that I mean I got what Another seven minutes in my episode here. Let's give it a go. All right. Coordinate with your wingmen to escort the transport vessels and secure a support ship as it investigates an anomaly that disables travel mode. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that'll have to wait because I have a feeling this is going to take a really long time. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go back and do this one more, one more time here. This incursion. See if I can beat my score. Probably can't. I'm uh, I'm struggling with it. Combat encounters. Hostile detected. Pegasus, Vanguard. Pegasus, Vanguard. Oh, I do that every freaking time. I forget to turn my travel drive off. pop in every time those uh, radio broadcasts happen. Well, maybe the, just the first time, hopefully. We'll see. Looks like it didn't happen again. It's like that quick delay while it loads the assets.
That's not gonna hit him. What am I doing? What was I doing that for? Whatever that was, that hit hard. Such a oh, just one little titch. Ah, oh, come on. I keep hit missing that guy with this secondary weapon. I don't think I'm going to do as well this time around. Bite it. Ah! 
No! I don't want the defense drones. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Oh, geez, it's just defense drones all the way down, isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm toast. I, yep, there we go. Toasty toast. Ooh, that hurts my hands. All right, well, I did not uh, do any better, but that's all right. Because we are at the end of the episode. Excellent. That was fun. I liked, uh, liked both of those missions. What? What just happened? I... They died, and I was ejected. Yeah, you've had that happen to you before, buddy. And we're going to leave it here in this nice, beautiful view of the people floating in space there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.